Okay. So she's sleeping. So, quick, we can do some of our projects. We just have to monitor her <laughs> and make sure she's doing okay. So over here, uh, learning a little bit about our Duinos. So this is a microcontroller. That little blue thing is a temperature and humidity sensor. Um, just learning about these things because I need to make a couple of controllers for some of my projects. Uh, one is going to be that uh, solar project that you saw. So we have more work to do on the solar panel project. Uh, we have a solar panel project for the garage and another one for the house. Uh, so two projects there. And then I got a couple other projects that I'm also working on. Uh, I needed controllers and controllers are pretty expensive for all these things. So I thought I would learn about an Arduino to make my own controllers. Uh, and I mean, just getting to this point where I learn how to program this guy, hook up that sensor, and actually have it display. Uh, I mean, that was like several weeks. But a big shout out to my friend Wim, uh, who was able to uh, help me write the code to figure all this out. Uh, he's uh, pretty much a genius with computer stuff. So thanks a lot, Wim. Uh, don't know why we're off, but hey, let's go outside. And I got it on this piece of cardboard. Do do do. So we're gonna travel outside. Sun has come out. It's been uh, raining last night, so everything is wet. It's gonna get up to 90 degrees today. And so we're inside the garage. We got the solar panels behind me. My goal today is to tie in to the garage. So actually, drill the holes. As you can see, the guy like right there, we got to drill the hole, drive them in, um, put it in the temperature well, etc. And if I've done my math correctly, then we should miss the studs, hopefully. <laughs> so that is the goal. And I'm not abandoning my kid. I got her on the monitor. Over there, we're going to bring in the pipes. So we got to move some stuff out of the way. Got to get the drill out, got to get the... Uh, the bits and we'll go to over there is the top left that's the high point so that's going to go into the garage this side is the low point so this is not going to go into the garage instead we're going to mount this fitting on it so we have to solder this on we have a thread on the other side into that thread is going to go this now this is a temperature sensor well so it's a sealed off copper pipe that's soldered into this little fitting. See, so no light comes through. So this is gonna go in essentially like that. And it'll allow me to insert a temperature probe, which will be wired into the controller and be, be able to read the temperature pretty much of the panel. So when the panel's hot, it'll turn the pump on. When the panel's cold, it'll turn the pump off. So that's what we got to do. And I'm still monitoring. So this old fitting got a little bit banged up, uh, like divot right there. This old caulking was because it was on a roof and they had a, a leak and they were caulking this area probably because they couldn't tell exactly where the leak was coming from, but it was coming from where the pipe entered the roof, not here. So, but I guess they were just trying their best. Get some flux on that. And so there we go, it's soldered on and I didn't burn anything down. I got a little bit of scorching on this caulking, but uh, I was really careful. <laughs> Gotta stay away from this vinyl and vinyl soffit because that stuff could go up. All right, fitting has cooled down. So now I'm gonna add the well, the thermostat well that goes inside got there. some blue stuff on the threads. So we'll put her in there. And I'll have to tighten it up with a wrench and put the camera down because I'm holding it. <laughs> Basic setup to tighten it. Uh, make sure that you uh, put a wrench on this part because you don't want to uh, twist and then snap all the copper connections inside the solar panel. So that's it. One fitting and I got to go back inside. She is fed, changed, played with. 
Now hopefully we can get outside and do another See, the panels are about half in the shade. But remember, we're in uh, mid-July right now, so uh, when it comes uh, time for the winter, these things will have a lot more sun. But if I go and I try to touch this, I mean, that's hot. I don't want to... I don't want to hold that very long. Um, and you can see inside we have the pipe with all the risers. I don't know if that's going to pick up on the camera, but uh, let's put an end cap on this. This is the high side. And there you go, soldered on. You can see all the panels slope downward. This is the lowest point. This is what needs to go into the garage. So in order to do that, I got to put this elbow on and it's going to go in a certain location, but I want to slide this on so I get this nice and accurate. But uh, the end got a little bit deformed in the whole process. So I think what I, I'm going to do is squeeze it a little bit, mess with it. I'm going to try to make it round That's again. Roughly marked out, and now I'm going to drill it using this uh, one and an eighth hole saw with uh, an extension. Reinforcements have arrived. We are taking off this panel. Why would we bother taking off the panel? Well, because as we were drilling this hole, the bit came off the end of the extension. So I have my drill, got a nice long extension, and the bit came off inside there. Uh, so now we're taking the panel off and we'll have to go from the other side. I was hoping just to go all the way through in one pass, but Oh well, we put the panel back, finished drilling after we got that bit out of the wall cavity, and now we have a nice hole all the way through. Way through! All right. Oh, yeah. Over this side. And if you can see there is a pitch on it, you have to make sure that everything pitches inside so that it won't freeze. All the water is going to drain out of these panels and go inside. Can't leave any water out. So now we're going to put the fitting on. Carry on. And now we'll just tap it from the other side to get it to seat. The real reason we needed reinforcements so grandma came over to watch the kids so that I can go over there and cut some copper and solder it. <laughs> I pre-soldered this uh, adapter from the one inch to the three quarter. That'll be inside the wall. It's all the one inch I had left. Um, and so I'm going to put this 91 inch on and these are one inch stub outs from the solar panels. Pass the pipe from the other side because there's a fitting on it and it was too big for the hole I drilled here and I didn't want to make the outside a big hole. Great, we finished everything on the outside for the soldering portion. So as you can see, we got that nice solder. It is pitched to the inside. We have the temperature well up there. Maybe from the shadow, you probably can't see it. We've blocked that off. And then up there, we've got the corner, the elbow, and it goes back inside. So we still have to insulate these on another day and put the temperature sensor in the well. Out inside the garage, you can see we got that guy stubbed out with a reducer to three quarter. And up there, the reducer is actually inside the wall cavity and the three quarter is already coming out. But that's gonna be cut off. The copper is gonna be brought over here to tie into the heat exchanger. This is gonna go to the tank. Awesome.